Oh man. Damn it. What's wrong, Chamoy? I just almost had a killer deal. Freaking para Nike paranormal phone posits. We're going for nineteen hundred dollars. Hot pockets. Phone posits. A basketball shoe. I could have easily made three hundred bucks for you like that, boss. But a guy emailed me back. Someone bought him yesterday. Nineteen hundred dollars for a pair of damn tennis shoes. That sounds like to me, Chamoy. These guys have to understand that there's other ways to make money. And right now, shoes are worth their weight in gold. You guys might know about old antiques, but when it comes to modern stuff, if you guys would just listen to me a little bit, you guys would be increasing your bottom dollar by a big amount. You know, guys, Chum knows what he's talking about. I don't have any idea what a pair of paranormal phone posits are, but I think we should give him a shot. OK, find me some good deals on that stuff, then. Sweet. Let's talk finder's fee. What kind of percentage am I going to get? Your salary. An everlasting gratitude point. I got no problem taking my salary as long as it walks through the doors, but if I'm putting in extra work. Extra work? You don't work to start with. Is he really going to tell me that, sitting in that chair? <laughs> I worked my whole life to sit in this damn chair. I don't need Chum giving me crap about it. Back in the day, we worked our ass off. This generation wants everything handed to them on a silver platter. If you make me some big deals where I make some good money, I'll throw you a bone. I'll give you 2% of the deal. Now we're talking. They're finally going to give me a piece of the pie. I'm going to find a big deal that's going to make everybody some serious cash. All right, well, I'll definitely line a few deals up for you, Rick. In the meantime, why don't you get back to all that hard work you're doing, boss? Does have a point. <laughs> I've been trying to convince the guys that I can find them some killer deals. So I found something that could make Rick a whole bunch of money. I just hope he's got an open mind. Hey, what's up? You guys from the pawn shop? Yeah, how you doing? How you doing? This place is amazing. World's largest collection of Nikes. It looks like a temple to me. So give me a minute <laughs> while I meditate. Every shoe in this collection is brand new, and each shoe represents a pivotal Nike innovation. This collection's my pride and joy, but I'm looking to sell it because it's time to move on. I'm gonna ask for a million dollars for my collection, but I'd be willing to take 800,000. So what all do you have here? Well, it's the world's largest collection of Nikes. It's broken down into categories like running, basketball, different themes, and all the shoes are on display with toys and props that bring them to life. Really interesting. Do you sell these? I'm going to sell them all at once. OK. Can you show us around? Oh, I'd love to. You've got 40 years of Nike running, all in chronological order. Where Nike running ends, Nike basketball begins. So you've got five aisles of basketball. There's just so many damn shoes. <laughs> You'll never find another collection like this anywhere. I can appreciate a few good pairs of shoes, but this is insane. <laughs> What are those? Up top, we've got three dozen Oregon waffles. The waffle sole was created by the founder of Nike, who started pouring rubber and synthetic materials into a waffle iron to try to get soles that would grip the ground better. This shoe's an Oregon waffle from 1973, and it's in University of Oregon colors, which is where Nike got its start. So how much is a pair like this worth? $1,700. Holy Nike was started by Phil Knight and Bill Bowerman selling shoes out of the trunk of their car at track meets. They quickly became one of the most popular brands on the planet, and many of their product lines would sell out in minutes. That's why they're so collectible today. What are those sneakers? The shoes behind me are inspired by cartoons, comics, superheroes, like Superman, Spider-Man, The Incredible Hulk. <laughs> OK. I like Grouch. Oscar the Grouch? Just because you are a Grouch. <laughs> You must like Cookie Monster, then. <laughs> I don't know. What is that? That's the dunk corner. Holy sneakers! Bam! There it was. The holy grail. This thing was freaking amazing. So what's so special about these, Chum? I mean, you got the What the Dunks, you got the Supreme Collection, you got the Huffs, you got the Diamond Tiffany Blues. Everything's here. Can't believe it. So what exactly is a dunk? In 1986, Nike made the dunk. It was a basketball shoe. But since then, the dunk has become an iconic skateboarding shoe. And behind me are about 50 pairs of the rarest Nike skateboarding shoes that have ever come out. OK, what's your most expensive pair of dunks here? This pair right here is worth about $5,000. Whoa. So what do you want to do with all these shoes? 
I want to sell them. How much do you want? A million dollars. A million dollars for shoes. You got to be kidding me. I know for you, it's just two things on the bottom of your feet. But for other people, this is the whole world. You really believe these shoes could be worth a million dollars? Um, yeah, I'd say we got close to, you know, 15,000 just on this top row. A million dollars for shoes. A million dollars for 2,000 shoes. I know for you, it's just two things on the bottom of your feet. But for other people, this is the whole world. You really believe these shoes could be worth a million dollars? Um, yeah, I'd say we got close to, you know, 15,000 just on this top row. I think Chum set up a real possible deal here. I know enough to know that people will pay insane money for some Nikes. But I need to take a step back and work the math. A million dollars comes out to $500 per pair of shoes. I'm thinking if I can get this guy closer to $200 a pair, it might be a deal. But I have to keep my labor cost in mind. I mean, what's your rock bottom price on them? I want a million dollars. What I'm looking at here is something that's going to take me two years to sell a ball. I'm going to have someone working for me for two years that I got to pay a salary to to sell all this stuff. I mean, I'll give you 300 grand for it. No way. I mean, it's cash. You walk away. You don't have to deal with nothing. No way. Not even close. I'll, I'll come down to nine. <sighs> Rick, don't let the deal of a lifetime slip out of your hands. Rick is a tough negotiator, but I can't let him pass this one up. This is a gold mine for him, and not to mention a pretty big payday for me. How long did it take you to buy them all? 13 years. You'll never see another collection like this in the world. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll go half a million bucks. I won't go anymore because literally it's going to cost me at least 100,000 just to sell it all. Half a million bucks is 250 a shoe. I've got shoes in here that were five grand. I'll come down to eight. That's my rock bottom price. <sighs> I'll tell you what, I go 550. I can't do it. It's just too low. It was nice meeting you, man. Rick. It's nice meeting you too. Rick! I really appreciate you letting me see everything, but come on, Sean, we gotta go. This ain't gonna happen. You wanna sell anything individually? Thanks for coming by, nah. Thanks for showing me. Come on, Sean. You're really, really missing out. Rick, you know what? I still think it's worth a chance. It really sucks we didn't make that deal. Rick would have made some serious money, and I would have got my 2%. And having those shoes in the shop would be unbelievable. That sucks, Rick. We should have made that deal. I know, but if the deal's not right, the deal's not right. Well, you just lost me my percentage on the whole deal. Can you at least buy me lunch? We've already had lunch, and the day's over. Second lunch. <laughs> I'm telling you, that was a million dollars in shoes there for a good deal. If you couldn't make money on that, I don't know what you could make money on. Sorry, chum. Maybe next time. Yeah, maybe. Can we get a couple shots? I'm not doing shots with you, chum. <laughs>